Welcome to the Zoom Player Aspect Ratio tutorial video. In this video we'll cover all things related to aspect ratios and how to maximize the access ratio settings to best fit your display device. To begin with we'll open the options dialog and enter the aspect ratio section of the options dialog. The select aspect ratio box shows the currently active aspect ratio mode, currently set to derived or recommended mode, which automatically sets the best possible aspect ratio mode as long as the video is properly encoded. Disabled mode makes the video fit the entire window screen. Source mode takes the source video resolution without any special uh, adjustment made by flags within the video or uh, other detected issues being resolved. Derived mode or automatic mode is the best mode. It will automatically fix any aspect ratio uh, issues as long as the video itself isn't encoded improperly in which case one of the other modes should fix it. Full screen mode is the um, old regular television full screen mode, which has a four by three aspect ratio. Wide screen mode or 16 by nine aspect ratio. Anamorphic mode is a special mode when you have a video recorded with 33% more vertical resolution this is the case with many DVDs, uh, but you only use this mode if the video is encoded improperly because the derived mode should work automatically. Custom mode lets you specify manual uh, or custom aspect ratio. For example, right now the custom aspect ratio is set to 2.35 over 1, which means the width is 2.35 larger than the height. For example, as you can see, the width is 2.35 wider than the height, which is only one. Next, you have the pixel aspect ratio calculator. This is not a setting, but rather a tool that helps you set the value for the source relative stretch. Basically, a pixel aspect ratio is a condition where you have a screen of a certain aspect ratio with the pixel having a different aspect ratio. This has occurred quite a few times with uh, plasma TV sets that had a width of the resolution 1024 when the height was 700. 68 but the aspect ratio of the, the actual screen itself if you measure it by uh, inches or centimeters was had a ratio of 16 over 9 so basically you had a pixel which wasn't square and uh, if you didn't adjust for it all the images would look uh, squashed so by entering the correct pixel values and the correct um, screen dimensions by clicking the Calculate Source Relative Stretch button, the Source Relative Stretch value is entered automatically. And if you had enable Use Source Relative Stretch to compensate for non-square pixels, your resolution and aspect ratio will be adjusted automatically to best match your uh, display device. Since not all your devices may have uh, a non-square pixel, you can limit these settings to a specific monitor. The anamorphic aspect ratio relative to source aspect ratio or defined video dimensions means that when setting the anamorphic aspect ratio, the calculation is made based on the source material aspect ratio or the derived or defined video dimensions, which means uh, 
other additional aspect ratio modifiers are, are taken into account. Usually this is something you do not need to set. Uh, we already discussed the source relative uh, values. Basically, it's the percentage the video need to be stretched in order to compensate for a non-square pixel. Next, let's go over aspect ratio settings. Uh, using the source relative stretch or uh, par pixel aspect ratio uh, to compensate for non-square pixels. We already discussed this when enabled this setting is taken into account. Derived mode automatically adjusts aspect ratio for badly encoded content is used when you have content that is scaled down in resolution and the width or the height of the video it must be uh, divisible by 8 or 16. This is due to the compression format used. By enabling this, enabling this setting uh, minor aspect ratio uh, inaccuracies are taken care of in these situations. Restricting aspect ratio adjustment to height in full screen makes the video uh, higher than the video display box, makes the height higher. This is only useful when you're displaying on non-widescreen devices in full screen mode. Next, you have setting window to source size, to the source video size compensate for aspect ratio. This means that when you use the automatic uh, window sizing to match the source video sizing, that the video aspect ratio should be taken into account which can account for, which can create a video which is not really in the source video size, but it's close to it with the correct aspect ratio. Supporting uh, anamorphic Matroska files is only useful uh, in rare conditions where you're not using the default uh, Matroska uh, source filter and it can conflict with subtitle rendering, so only use it in rare conditions where it's useful for you. And lastly, we already discussed this a bit, and this is the custom aspect ratio settings. You can set any value, even fractional values, as you can see here. For example, if I set it to um, one by one and set the aspect ratio to custom, you can see, I uh, have to apply first. And you can see basically we have a square window right now. This covers the options dialog. And let me show you how you can switch between aspect ratio modes with ease. Just by right clicking the video area, going over to the aspect ratio and selecting the mode you want enabled. Or, as you can see, you can press the R key and it will cycle through the modes. For example, let's select derived mode and I'll press the R key and it switches to full screen mode, which is the same resolution as the source material, so you don't really see any change. Clicking again, and now it forces widescreen mode, anamorphic mode, the custom mode, which right now is the same as anamorphic mode and the disabled, which covers the entire window. Source material is the same as our derived mode right now because this particular video clip does not have any additional aspect ratio adjustment. This cover aspect ratio modes in Zoom Player. Thank you for watching this video.